I'll show you how to build this spinning target system. It's meant for low power .177 caliber BB guns and pellet rifles. Of course you can buy spinning targets such as these on Amazon. Some have good reviews, others do not. And I'm too cheap to spend that money on something that's not highly rated. When my neighbor threw out his kid's old playset, I thought maybe I could make targets out of the sliding board, which is made of tough, thick plastic. The first idea was a knockover. Resetting it after every shot wasn't fun, so I thought about spinning targets. You can see how the targets are hung from a coat hanger wire. The spacer made with a coil of wire maintains separation between targets. The targets and spacers fit loosely on the wire. You can cut any shape target you please. I use shapes already in my workshop. Just don't make the targets too long or they can't rotate. Now watch as I sketch out a few targets. I'm using a paint stir stick to make square targets. There will be three on this first row. The stems for the hanging targets are about three quarter inch long and one half inch wide. This is not critical. For round targets, I use this container of grease. The double ended spinners have a connecting stalk about an inch and a half long. Note that on the double round, one end is bigger. A bandsaw makes short work of cutting. Let's watch a couple being made. I had to reshoot the bandsaw video, so these shapes don't exactly match the layout in the previous clip. It was a hard lesson, but next time I will be sure to have the camera rolling before doing the action. Drill a hole through the stalks for the rod. The double round gets a hole in the middle because one end is bigger. The double square gets a hole off center so one end is heavier. These holes will test your skill with the drill. The spacers are made with 14 gauge copper wire wound on a screwdriver that's thicker than the coat hanger. Cut them to length. I spent time closing the ends, but I'm not sure that's necessary. Lots of trial and error was needed on the first side, and when finished, the spacers were too long. No problem, just carefully squeeze some of the coils together. Be very careful as one slip will pinch the daylights out of your fingers. Trust me on this. I put washers next to the wood, but I'm not sure they're needed. They were in my junk box or else I would not have bothered. The length of your coat hanger determines the length of the board. This board is seven and a quarter inches wide as I had that on hand. I've used two by fours for wood spacers on the ends and a one by four in the middle. The wire is held to the wooden spacers with more sliding board material. I filed a notch in the wood blocks to help hold the wire. And there you have it. This can be used laying flat or standing up. Have fun shooting, but please, no high power air rifles like Springer's or precharged pneumatics. These would shatter the plastic. Your old Daisy Red Rider or pump rifle with two or three pumps will be fine. And please follow the four rules of gun safety. If you like this, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And thanks for watching.